It's been four years since Ole Miss made a postseason appearance, but the Rebels are on the rise and appear ready to end that skid. Ed Orgeron's ball club returns nine starters on the offensive side, none more important than running back Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. He'll need to find the end zone a lot to improve what was one of the worst scoring offenses in the country a year ago. Oh, I'm excited to just play any role in playing football, so this has been a tremendous honor for me, and I just want to continue to get better and get better every day, so and keep coming. But who exactly will be handing Green Ellis the ball is a huge question mark. Senior Seth Adams and Tennessee transfer Brent Schaefer are in a heated battle during fall camp. The Arkansas Razorbacks are hoping the soap opera is over in Fayetteville after an offseason that saw several high-profile players transfer and revelations of an alleged affair between Houston Nutt and a local TV anchor. The Hogs just want to play football. We got a good group coming back. We need to build some depth. We need to get some guys coming in until we say, okay, he goes down, you got him. So you want to stay away from injury and um, keep this team going. Make no mistake, the Razorbacks are still loaded. Heisman runner-up Darren McFadden is back to make another run at sport's biggest individual award. If Arkansas players can keep their heads on straight and avoid the countless distractions, the SEC Western Division title could be on the line when the Hogs visit Death Valley on Thanksgiving weekend.